learned already that names don't constitute knowledge, that they're knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzclonan experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long-lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh, yes, now I know. But I never know the names of things. What he forgot to tell me was that the knowing the names of things is useful if you want to talk to somebody else. <laughs> so you tell him what you're talking about. But the basic principle of knowing about something rather than just knowing its name is something that you stuck to, is it? Yes, of course. It's, well, you have to learn. These are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn. That to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's, uh, you've got to be very careful not to confuse yourself. Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macro Economics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro and Patreon.com slash BKC, Bare Knuckle Charting. All right. So uh, let's talk about some of the bullshit that perma bears are talking about. For example, oh, we're a service based economy. Oh, don't worry about ISM. Eh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Well, no fucking shit. <laughs> We, we've been a service-based economy for a very fucking long time. You know, last time we were like an industrialized company, uh, country was back in the 40s. And that was because of the war. I mean, come on. What, what, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means, to be honest with you. Uh, since the 90s, we've been below 20%, right? Now we're, I don't know, 17, 16%, whatever the hell it is. So what, we don't have a recession? It's because we're not uh, an industrial economy? What the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what that means. But, you know, they say it anyway. So let's look at the facts. Well, if you go back, this is the zero line right here. And when you go back, what you're going to see is when the ISM starts coming down in a thrusty kind of way and it crosses zero, bad shit happens. Okay. Same thing back here. When you start seeing the ISM go straight down, get the fuck out. Right? Things don't look good. Pay attention. Well, what do we have now? Boom, straight down. Ooh, that doesn't look good. And and if you uh, if you notice, even here, right, it was above this this area, and when this started to tank, right, it was above this, and now again. It's above this one, and we're going straight down. But we're not a service. We're not an industrial economy, so it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, okay. If this continues to go straight down, like it's it's going, and it doesn't have to come this slow, okay. This was an extreme, but if this continues to come on down, bad shit is going to happen. Okay, that's just the way it works. Now, is this the holy grail of analysis? Of course not. Nothing has to happen, but you better pay attention and be cautious. You know these people; they, the perma bulls have, you know, their religion. Okay, just like the perma bears, they got their own religion. They'll just keep saying the same shit, nonstop, no matter what. Nothing is ever good enough, or, you know, nothing uh, is ever bad enough. So let's take a look, right here, below zero, coming straight down. What happened? Recession. Started coming down, crossed zero. What happened? Recession. Okay. Now, coming straight down. Where are we? Still at the top. If this continues on down, more likely than not, something bad is going to happen. Do we have to go into a recession in order to, to see a, a large drawdown in, in the market? Absolutely not. We went down 20% in December. No recession. But you took a 20% drawdown. If you're lucky, depends on what your portfolio look like. Other people got 30, 40%. Yeah, you don't need to go into a recession to see your account look like fucking Syria. Here's another one. Oh, uh, 2015, we had a recession. Uh, a, P, uh, a PMI recession. I, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? That we're never going to have uh, a recession again because we had one in 2016 and we didn't go into a recession. Therefore, we'll never go into a recession. 
But that's the kind of stupid shit they run around telling people on uh, Facebook and social media. You know, oh, I got my six-point model. Don't give a fuck about your six-point model. And neither does the market and neither do people who have their hard-earned money in the markets. They don't give a shit about your six-point model. Nobody gives a shit about your six-point model. Yeah, but the, the bears have been wrong for 10 years. That doesn't make you right. Okay? doesn't make you right. There's a time to be a bull and a time to be cautious and a time to be a bear. And if you're going to run around and tell people that you're this expert and you know everything and you're the man and everybody else is an idiot, well, you better give good advice. Otherwise, I have zero fucking respect for you. Zero. The red line is the unemployment uh, unemployment rate. Okay, And right now, we're very low. Okay, 3.5. But again, I'm going to point it out. Every time that the ISM went straight down, what happened to unemployment? It skyrocketed. Came straight down. What happened to unemployment? Skyrocketed. It's coming straight down again. Unemployment is doing really good. Really good this time. Okay? Does that mean that the rate of change, and I'm not talking about the unemployment, I'm talking about the rate of change, if it starts to... Uh, to start to curl back up and this is coming straight down all right more likely than not guess what we're gonna go back up all right and then yes then we'll probably be in a recession is there an indication that we're going into a recession based on the unemployment rate no the rate of change still continues to decline it's going in the right direction everything is fine but that does not mean that you should not be cautious in the markets and in your retirement accounts, okay, uh, and that this cannot change next month or the next month or the next month or at some point, okay? Now, we have to remember that whatever is going on in the world, economically speaking, it's not necessarily the U.S. We're okay. It's the rest of the world that has a problem, okay? And eventually, it's going to affect us. Just like, ah, oh, don't worry about the interest rates going negative internationally. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, well, <laughs> interest rates went from 325 all the way down to 130-something. Don't worry about it internationally. Well, you see, it's a ridiculous uh, assertion. So, uh, when people are telling you, oh, <laughs> we're not an industrial economy don't worry about it we had a pmi recession in 2016 and all this nonsense please don't listen to them all right don't listen to them well it doesn't mean as much as it does to the rest of the world the, the industrial production for us yes it's a small portion but again we still get the same signals of caution and if it doesn't matter in the u.s great it matters to the rest of the world and if it matters to the rest of the world who are exporters and, and they require uh, that uh, the PMI stays about 50, if it's going to affect them, it's going to affect us, okay? So, like I told you, you don't need a recession to lose 20, 30% in the market, okay? So, be cautious. Uh, don't listen to fucking these people who are just marketing their own brand of bullshit. Be smart. Uh, be cautious. Don't get overly bearish, but be cautious, okay? That's it. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, if you need more of this kind of information, patreon.com slash real macro. Take care. Bye-bye. Before this battle is over, the world will know that few stood against many.